Hey guys, welcome to another video. This video is on the error. User is not authorized to perform DynamoDB get item. So this is a Lambda function. I'm trying to fetch the data from DynamoDB uh, using a Lambda function. As uh, you can see from the code here, I'm just trying to uh, get a value for the given key right so uh, so the code looks fine everything compiles fine uh, but when we run it we get this error so generally this error is related to uh, permissions uh, on the lambda function to execute uh, the queries on a dynamo db so generally if you don't uh, specify the permission properly here you will get this error. So to check that, uh, we have to go to the permissions. So here I will just see I have an execution role here. So I'm just going to open it. So let's get back to the error message. Uh, it says, uh, yeah, user is not authorized to perform uh, DynamoDB get item. So get item is what we are not authorized to perform. So let's go back here. So we have two policies uh, here. So just see the policy details. So this policy is to create a log. So this is not related to DynamoDB and let's take a look here this is for S3 so even this is not related to DynamoDB so we need to create a new uh, policy for this so do the service is DynamoDB say DynamoDB Okay, action is get item. So uh, we should always provide the least uh, privileges to the Lambda function. So just specify whatever you need and specify the resource. So here is my ARN of the table, right? Just specify that. So I've just specified the Amazon resource name for the table and then review. Just give it a name. Test lambda dynamo db. Okay, and create a policy. So yeah. Uh, Now I have three policies attached to this role, right? So my role is having three policies and one of which is uh, to access the data from uh, a table, a DynamoDB table. So let's test this again. So yeah, as you can see, I'm not getting the error now. So I'm able to fetch the data from DynamoDB. Uh, that's all for this video, guys. Uh, hope this helps. Uh, thank you for watching.